Hello everybody, this is Strange Gamer back to kick off round two of Group G matches. And in these matchups, we will see MEJP10 going up against Team Asia, Anton Gushan going up against Ultimate Dino Queen, and Engineer Gaming going up against Cryo Nova. Ooh, this could be interesting because at the end of all this, we could have a we could have a clear leader here. Yeah, definitely a good chance for Cryonova here, because since these two have to play each other, a good chance for Cryonova to open up a lead on the bottom too. Right, enough about that. Let's go on with the first matchup, which is quite an important one at the bottom. Okay, in this matchup we see MEJP10 going up against Team Asia, and in the red corner for MEJP10 we have a Panoplosaurus. Um, not much to say here, really. I mean, that Quake Saber could do a decent amount of damage, and it definitely packs a punch. And it shouldn't be too tough for them, because in the blue corner for Team Asia, we have an Urdanoceratops, which will be at a tight disadvantage against that Panoplosaurus. But the combo of Tire Attack and Plasma Anchor could come in handy here. Bam, bing. Uh, it could be a crucial game for these two because they're both pointless after one ma match. So a win here could be very crucial for their chances of qualifying. Ooh, that's a crit from the Udanoceratops. And not too, but not too much damage dealt though. But the Panoplosaurus striking back. An even start so far. Ooh, but could this crit change that? Oh, loads of damage dealt. Ooh, is that a tie? That is a tie. And the tie attack there. Coming in handy. Oh, another tie. The tie defense effect from the Danoceratops saving it from going down. Oh, another tie. Uh, no plasma anchor yet, though. Wow, another tie. Oh my god. I think this Panoplosaurus is going to die due to a tie. Nope, the Adanoceratops is just going to get off a normal hit to finish off Panoplosaurus. Wow, we didn't see that coming, did I? <laughs> and, and well, out of nowhere, Team Asia have a slight lead. Anyway, up next for Emmy, we have a Joe Boria. Again, focusing more on attack than um, technique, which is fine. I suppose you get to do lots of damage, and you make make the most of the hits you get. Wow, that tight defense type really saved Adanoceratops there. It, it just shows if you have the right combos, you can do well when they actually resolve. Well, another type, but the Adanoceratops' battle type did not activate because this was a new rep. Anyway, up next for Team Asia, we have a, we have the Wolf Lizard itself, the Uluru Titan. Uh, Uluru Titan doesn't mean like Wolf Lizard, I just call it Wolf Lizard because it sounds like a howling wolf. Um, all about stripping health from its opponents, so, so it could be interesting to see Uluru Titan. Alrighty, then we'll start with Skizzers. Ooh, a power drain coming from Uluru Titan. And um, people have, a lot of people, I should, I should actually mention this. A lot of people have actually asked if I'm going to do another tournament because a lot of people actually wanted to join this tournament but didn't get the invite, didn't see the video in time. Um, I will do another tournament. Probably around September time because I, I, I don't want to do too many tournaments in a short space of time because I, I want to have regular uploads as well and doing these do take up a lot of my time and it makes it difficult to do regular uploads. So I, I, I'm reluctant to do another tournament in September, but if enough people want me to do it, I'll do it. Um, personally, I wouldn't mind it if like other content creators actually did their own tournaments, like Ultimate Dino King did. I mean, his tournament, you know, it was good, but you know, he had a lot of stuff, personal stuff going on right now, so it made it difficult for him to upload fluently with this tournament like what I'm doing well what I'm hopefully doing 
So yeah, it's it's. Oh, what's this? Oh, a green impulse coming from Uluru Titan. And that will finish off the Joe Barrier. I know, I've been talking about tournaments. I forgot, I completely forgot this match. Anyway, back to my discussion. Yeah, it's a, it's a shame that this tournament kind of like... Well, it was a bit all over the place. But it is what it is. But again, I would like it. I would li like it if other content creators did their own tournaments like this. I mean, even if it's a carbon copy of mine, I don't care. I'd love it. It's not that I'm like... Not that I don't want like doing these. I do genuinely enjoy doing these, but it does take up a lot of your time. I know, and I would, and I do like to do other uploads as well, which has been different. I mean, I've been meaning to play this bloody new game that's been beta testing, and I haven't got around to doing it. Anyway, back to the match. Team Asia on top so early on, but the Allosaurus Atrox is having none of it. But because of how feeble its scissors and paper moves is, it won't do much damage to Uluru Titan. Ooh, that's a tie. Ooh, that's not good for Atrox and Emerald Garden coming from... Wait, what? Oh, the Emerald Garden effect was gone, so it's Power Drain instead. So Uluru Titan getting a tiny, tiny bit of health back. Well, weakening the Atrox. But Hurricane Beat has been triggered. But, but yeah, how many power trains is this guy going to get off? Anyway, it's not looking good for Emmy so far. The Atrox is in grave danger here. And Ola Triton. Very slightly getting its HP back. I say slightly because it's like a sliver. Okay. This is Net Crusher. So this might be lethal. Indeed it is. And I'd probably say only just lethal. Okay, as for Team Asia's last dino, we have the Alio Ramus. Uh, more, more technical than the attack minded. With that heat eruption and volcano burst. Trying to utilize its high damage output in, when it's in awaken mode, which will be on in two turns. And it will have the type advantage over Atrox, so. Emmy is in a bit of trouble here. Oh, no. Alio Ramus is going to finish off Atrox. Oh, he's not. Oh, yes, he is. He's getting vol <laughs> Volcano Burst just to make sure. Ah, oh, poor Emmy. <laughs> oh, yeah, Emmy might have a chance here, but nope. Alio Ramus had other ideas. And that is a win for Team Asia. And Team Asia being the only Continental Bot team to win a match so far. Um, well, I'm, then, uh, well, I was yapping for most of that map, so I didn't really pay attention. But anyway, I'll update the table and we'll move on to the next match. Okay, in this matchup, we see Anton Gushan taking on Ultimate Dino Queen. Both of these two combatants enjoyed opening round wins, but who will continue their winning start? Anyway. At first for Anton, we have a Shunasaurus. Beware of that Hydro Cutter. I mean, it won't do as much damage as the one that Saltosaurus has, but it will do some damage. Anyway, as for Ultimate Dino Queen in the blue corner, we have a Uteraptor. Seems to be a staple for her. Um, not much to say here. Almost identical moveset to mine, except for instead of Cyclone, she has Light Recovery. Um, anyway, back to the talk I had in the first match about the tournament. Is about doing another tournament, then I can see why other content creators won't, aren't able to do these kind of things because they have way more subscribers than I do. Like, I can probably only do this properly because I only have 600 subscribers, which I'm very grateful for. If I had like 600,000 subscribers, I probably wouldn't be able to do this because I'd just be overwhelmed by entries and you know, not everyone can join, and I want everyone to join. You know, I don't want to turn around and say to people, You can't join because it's full, you know what I mean. Anyway, there's the blunder type there, nullifying that rock move, nullifying that dino illusion. The Shunasaurus striking back. Not too much damage dealt though. Wet my wish off. Ooh, the Shunasaurus oh, getting another hit off. Ugh, 
I always find this arena so glitchy. More glitchier than the other ones. Oh, but, but yeah, this Shunasaurus is cleaning house. Another hit on the Utahraptor. Slowly wearing its HP down. Okay, finally the Utahraptor gets a hit. Wait, with light recovery. Ooh, an Aqua Vortex being triggered there. No, I, I'm serious. Where's light recovery? Why why didn't light recovery activate? Well, it doesn't matter because Utahraptor is going to kill Shunasaurus and finish it off. And give Ultimate Dino Queen a 1-0 lead. And it shouldn't be too tough for her here because her neck... Because Anton's next dino is a Lanzusaurus. Although the Utahraptor is on quite low health, so... Maybe Lanzusaurus shouldn't have too much trouble taking it out. And look at that super impact. Almost maxed. Loads of attack. Oh, I need to check something. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. I just wanted to check if I got the team right. Okay, another hit coming from the Utahraptor. Oh, oh, oh. Idiot, stranger. Idiot. Like, I bet you're all shouting at the screen. It's not light recovery. It's tiebreaker. Ah, oh, you idiot, stranger. <laughs> okay, my bad. I mean, you all can see what it is, so. You're probably shouting at the screen saying, What's he on about, light recovery? It's tiebreaker. Anyway, what does, it, what does matter here is that this Lanzusaurus is going to defeat the Utahraptor with a super duper impact. And even the score for... What's his name? Anton Gushan. But up next for Ultimate Dino Queen, we have Apissa Sela Claudia. I feel like this is the Joker of her team. But that high technique with Shockwave could be deadly. Come on, let me get on with it. You could... I don't even know what he's saying. So Queen does still have a slight lead, but the Lanzusaurus clawing it back. Oof, that was a glitchy then. Ooh, the Epistocela Claudia's got a hit. One hit could be all that Queen needs, but no Shockwave. Wow, remember that match where this thing got like a shockwave off every time? Oh, wow, the luck gods were with him there. Oh, that's, that is a tie. A super impact from Lanzusaurus will almost certainly defeat the Epistocela Claudia. But instead, the Epistocela Claudia is going to take out Lanzusaurus and reduce Anton to their third dino. That dino being Gygas, Spectral Armor. And it has Goma's moveset of Heat Eruption, Burning Dash, and Flare Sword. But it'll work just as well with Gygas, so there's no need to worry. But the problem with Gygas here is that we'll, we'll be at a tight disadvantage against this Epistocela Claudia. So I think Spectral Lancer might, might be needed if Anton wants to win this match. Ooh, not good for Anton. A tragic sphere from the Epistocela Claudia. And this beast is attack type as well, so we'll do a... Oh my god, loads of damage! Well, Ultimate Dino Queen all of a sudden on the brink of a bonus point win. But wow, no Shockwave. Like, Ultimate... Like, he's quite unlucky, the Queen, without. But, doesn't seem to matter. What does seem to matter, though, is a Heat Eruption coming from Gygas. Could that be the turning point of the match? Dun, 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 dun. But Gygus is on very low health, so it's going to be tough for Anton to make a comeback here. Especially when Queen gets a hit. And that hit will, will be curtains for Anton and Gygus, and ensure a bonus point win for Ultimate Dino Queen. Very impressive by our Dark Horse. Right, update the table and we'll move on to our final match of the video. Alrighty then, in the red corner for Engineer Gaming we have an Acrocanthosaurus. Um, a solid moveset this Acrocanthosaurus has. Uh, will Tag Team come in handy? Will, will Burning Dash resolve? Will Flare Sword activate? We'll just have to see. 
Um, it's going to be tough, though, because in the blue corner for Crown Over, we have a Lambiosaurus. I think this is charge type as well, so it'll do quite the amount of damage in a tie. Boom, bum, 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 bum. And we have the green impulse here, which could synergize well with that charge type attribute. And, well, tiebreaker is tiebreaker. Um, I don't know who's going to win this match. I think, I think Cryo will, Nova will edge it. But we'll just have to see. <coughs> oh, <cool. coughs> I choked on my spit, sorry. Ooh, that's a tie. Yeah, ties definitely suit Lambiosaurus more than they do to the Acro. Oh, come on, another tie? Ooh, the Acrocamphosaurus getting off the first hit. Not too much damage done and no Flare Sword. But the Lambiosaurus striking back with a hit of its own. And Cryonova does have the slight lead in this match so far. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh. But the Lambiosaurus is going to get taken out by the Acrocanthosaurus. A burning dash coming in there. Giving Engineer Gabe in the lead. There's only a slight lead. Anyway, in the blue corner for Crown Over, second Dino we have. A, well, Crowlophosaurus, of course. Um, not much to say here. Although, unlike other crowds in this tournament, its paper move is not a secret move. This being Alpha Dice, so... Will that pay off, or will it not? We'll just have to see. But Engineer Gaming does have the slight lead. Ooh, and he looks like he's extending his lead as the Acro gets off another hit. And a Flare Sword activates. Cryonova not looking too good now. After an... I'd say a relatively back and forth start, Engineer Gaming has taken the lead. Oh dear. Oh dear. Wow, look at this all of a sudden. Cryonova down to their third dino. That dino being Super Duper Chomp. Well, look at this all of a sudden. Engineer Gaming 2-0 up. Um, not much to say here. That Thunder Bazooka is going to have to earn his dough. Okay, Awaken Mode on free. It's going to be tough for Crown Over because Engineer Gaming's second dino is an Earth dino. And it's a super dino to boot. That's if Crown Over even defeats this Acro. Okay, that's, yep, that Plasma Anchor will guarantee lethal for Acrocamphosaurus. But it definitely did its work in defeating Lambiosaurus and gra pummeling through the cryo. So Engineer Gaming is still in the lead, but Cryonova finally taking out that Acro. Anyway, up next for Engineer Gaming, we have Super Talarurus. One of two Super Talaruruses in this tournament. This one is a bit more attack oriented though. And that will definitely come in handy against this chomp as it will have the type advantage. So Cryonova still in a bit of trouble here, and still not looking good. I think the key here, if Cryonova wants to win this match, they have to get through this Talarurus pretty quickly. Because, yeah, look at that. Okay, once. Okay, Awaken Mode on two, and on three for Tromp. Ooh, that's a tie. I think a tie might be the way forward for Chomp because... Ah, look here, another Plasma Anchor. And the damage from Plasma Anchor is unaffected by the type disadvantage. So it'll do the same amount of damage regardless of what dino you face. Boosh! At least I think that's the case. Yeah. Okay, but it will be awakening time for Talarurus. So this could be with Engineer Gaming snatches the match. Oh, it is! A light recovery coming, and a spike arrows, which is almost certainly going to one-shot the chomp. So, despite a little fight back there from Cryonova, 
Engineer Gaming will be getting a bonus point win. <laughs> Just to add insult to injury. Uh, impressive there. The Acro definitely did most of the work. And obviously having the type advantage there was definitely crucial there. But a good bonus point win for Engineer Gaming. And that could be a good result for Ultimate Dino Queen as well. And you'll find out when we look at the table. Alright, an interesting looking Group G. You've got Ultimate Dino Queen with a 100% with a winning record so far with 7 points. 4 points clear of the bottom 2, which could be key. And then we have Engineer Gaming and Cryonova level on points with 4. But Engineer Gaming is 2nd because they won the matchup against Cryonova. And then we have Anton Gushan and Team Asia. Bringing up the rear here with 3 points. And then MEJP10 with Zep. Hmm. The next matchups we will see. Ooh, this could be this could be an interest. This could be an interesting match. Anton Gushan against Team Asia. Well, Team Asia against Anton, I should say. MEJP10 against Engineer Gaming. And ooh, big match at the top between Ultimate Dino Queen and Cryo Nova. And looking at the table, if results go Ultimate Dino Queen's way, I think a win in the next round will guarantee her a place in the last 32. So let's see if Ultimate Dino Queen wins their next match against Cryonova. That's 10 points. Cryonova's on 4. And then if Engineer Gaming lose their next, loses their next matchup, that could put Ultimate Dino Queen 6 points clear a second. And well, it doesn't really matter who wins here. Oh, 4 versus 5. Actually, yeah, it don't matter who wins here because... The loser will still be on three points. And then if any JP10 loses again. Actually, yeah, yeah. Queen would pretty much be assured a place in the last 32 if she wins her matchup against Cryonova. Because I'll put her at least. Well, I'll put her seven points clear of the bottom two. With two games to go. So, yeah. I think that will guarantee you... Anyway, that's enough blabbering, so I hope you enjoyed this session. And stay tuned for next time, where we'll finish, where we'll do the round two for Group H.